Happy holidays and, and welcome, welcome back Bloody hell. to our channel. Hello everybody. My name's Rob and this is Al Burnley. We've just got up, well not long ago. We've had a nice romantic evening last night. With Jensen. It's so hard to get him off that computer game isn't it? It really is. Yeah. What are you doing? I am deleting everything from Tuesday's video to start again for this video. Why is that cupboard open? You've left it open. No, I'm here in the cupboards out. Something's seriously wrong with you. It was red hot last week. It's red hot last weekend. Not very warm today. What are we on? Uh, we've just had our healthy breakfast. No, we've had cereals and now we had cake and sweets and... Crunchy nut cornflakes, the best in the world. Yeah. Got our paper cup suck, save me, save me washing up. I do, yeah, you have washed up. That's all I seem to do, folks, wash up. It is... Uh... It doesn't taste the same though, right? I don't think it does. No, tea and coffee never always tastes better out of bone china, doesn't it, people? Well, when you're camping, Paper cups are better because you can just chuck them. They are. And they're recyclable uh, paper you cups. You can recycle me, 100% recyclable. And they're dishwasher proof? You said that like on Tuesday and it wasn't funny then. And it's not funny now. <laughs> yeah, so we're still at uh, Keep Your Air On. Aber Air On. Aber Air On. Or Aber Air On. Oh, Aber Air On. One of them. I think it's Aber Air On. The weather's uh, changed a bit, it's a bit cloudy, but at least it's dry, it's not raining, so that's the main thing. It's very windy. And it is Sunday, so a lot of people have gone home. Yeah, we've got loads of space. Just booked next weekend, haven't we? Yes, looking forward to that. That's, uh, that's going to be interesting, yeah. Uh, what are we doing there? I don't know. Can't use it properly. Put your little legs down. No, so oh, I think good. like you want to walk back up into the town, don't you? Yeah, we've got to go back up to keep your hair on. We do need a few things. We're nearly out of milk. Yeah. What else? Washing up liquid. Washing up liquid. Because, uh, and we need to get fairy washing up liquid as well because the other stuff ruins my hands. No, fairy really dries your hands out, but I wear gloves, so. You think we'll be able to get him off that? <laughs> Bless him. His uh, dad's coming early in the morning to pick him up so we can head back. Yes, he is, thank goodness. Come on then, let's crack on. She's only come out with her crocs on. I know, I haven't got, the only thing I've got is my heel sandals. You need proper footwear. I've got my, <laughs> I have got my Converse, but they take so long to put on, so no. Oh dear me. Oh well. And she's wrapped up like winter. I'm not. You've got a gilet on as well. Yeah, I know. It's, uh... it's funny weather. It is funny weather. You don't have to dress here. You? It's warm, but the wind's cold, if that makes sense. It's warm, but the wind's cold, if that makes sense. Shut up, brother. At least I can walk today on the pebbles. Get off, you lunatic. <laughs> Look at you. There's nothing like a bit of sea air, people. Get the old lungs working. Lynn, Jensen is nearly as tall as you. This time next year. No. Yeah. Yeah, so there's loads of different campsites on this uh, stretch. I mean, that's uh, camping on the farm. I don't know what that one is. And I don't know what that one is. And you can also park on there for the day on that car park, just up there. Yeah. 
fantastic place, it really is. Unbelievable. I can't tell you what you just said to me. It's rude. Have you seen the size of this bloke's roof down here? Oh, God, every time we walk past it, you keep going on about it. How bad was our roof recently? Oh, that bad. Uh, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night, to be honest. No, it really wasn't that badly. Well, I didn't see it, you just said it was. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Get out of the caravan. Wow! Surely he could send his wife up there to clean it. <laughs> so, what are we having for lunch today? I actually do a roast dinner. Nah. I'm killed for a roast dinner. I can't remember the last time we had one because it was our event last week. And, and oh, you know what you're going to do? Try cooking now and again? Oh, dear me. I will. Where we go? Oh, excuse me. When we go back, I will cook. Sure. Yeah, and I've got to make a curry for next weekend because I've probably somebody. Yes. You're looking pretty in pink. Oh, I feel right yesterday. You must have been snug. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I was just saying to Lynn, that's the bike you need to go touring. That BMW there. Just noticed the bloke's left his phone on the on the seat. So hopefully he realises and gets back here and picks his phone up. Yeah, he's got a GoPro on the back as well, but that's bold. Yeah. Oh, I hope he gets back. Easy done, I suppose. Easy done. Do you like being up there? I do. I feel very tall. I feel even taller. Oh, Jensen's still taller, look. Are you come back over now? Well, we don't know what they're actually doing here, but you can't get anywhere near the harbour wall now. Does anybody know? Anybody from around this area? Give yeah. us an insight to what's happening. Yeah, because there's some major work going on here. I wonder if thought it's flood defences from a harbour. I don't know, no idea. Whatever they're doing here, it must be costing a bloody fortune. That looks major develop development to me. It does, I just can't work out what they're doing. I don't know. Found some info, people. Yes, it says uh, the rising sea levels and storms pose a theory, serious threat to our seaside town of Aberiron. Keep your air on. Uh, implementing the scheme will improve the level of protection afforded to many businesses and homes. So it is coastal sea defence rock deliveries. There you go. So here, it's all different. Yeah, yeah. We're finished. Have you finished it? Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, we just stopped to uh, spend some more money. Yeah, I think I've been done. Because Jensen's had my coke. No, I have no coke. No, this was yours no, with no, your dinner. No, you and I've ended up with the apple juice. No, you, you said you This is our family I all over this is bickering. Anyway, unfortunately. We can't find the person who owns the BMW bike no. has left a phone on the seat. We have asked everybody yeah, and we've who's waited, got a helmet. We've waited around, haven't we, but nothing. But you don't want to take it in case he goes back and it's still there. So I just hope he has gone back at some point and we'll have a look on the way back. Let's see if the phone's still there. What are you having to eat anyway? I'm having a pizza. What are you having? Um, what are you having? A big breakfast. <laughs> At 20, 25 past one on a Sunday afternoon. Never too late to have a full breakfast. Sausages I don't like though. No, pop chips up, chip shop sausages. I don't mind them. It's food in it. You know, you've got to take it while you can, haven't you? Well, you have if you're with me. That's a fact. No cooking for Lynn. Look at that though, perfect. And there's little Jensen's look. And he's just pinching with my fried, fried bread. There's no way you're gonna eat all that. No, probably half. But I'm gonna get it, I'm, I'm gonna get it 
takeout thing? The takeout thing. Go on, have a bite. It's too hard. Go on. Dreaders. You can do it. No, it's hot. Well, while we're sat here, the bike has just drove past, road past, because we noticed the GoPro on the back, so hopefully his phone is still there. Yep. Happy with that. Well, look at this, people. Lynn, I want one. So, <clears throat> at least you've gone off the idea of having a fight to Jess. Well, I'll never be able to afford one of them, will I? No. Unfortunately. No, but we're going back now because we have got something that we want to show you, which is perfect for camping. Well, for me anyway. Well, if I can get you I on it. We'll be fighting over it. I think we will. Especially with Jensen. Yeah. Come on, let's crack on. Okay, folks, let me introduce you to the Annie Macca hammock. Do do! Apparently, you can put it up in about five seconds. Go on then. But you're talking to us. <laughs> I must say, it's in a cracking bag, okay? Which has been in our garage now for a month or so because the weather has been crap and we couldn't review it. Yeah, but when the weather's been good, we've been too busy, haven't we? Yeah, well, it's been too so there you lazy. go. Uh, so let's get it open, eh? Here oh, we go. We've got to open it, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. So, that. Oh, here we go. What? Right, so... You unzip that. We've got to get into the bag first. Like that. And then move that out the way like that. And then you've got that. So in it, we've got the canopy, the, the bug net, what is it called? Mosquito, Mosquito net. net. We've got the actual hammock, the... That's the insect net. Which I said. That's the... Cup holder. Uh, cup holder, yeah. That's the... The actual hammock that you lie on. Double hammock. That is the hammocks, hammock stand. Hammock ki uh, canopy kit for hammock stand. Okay, and this is the hammock. And this is the actual stand. So let's get it out. Get rid of that. You can see we haven't had it out before. Hang on. To that. because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. I'm so clever. Because we haven't watched any videos or nothing on how to do this. Okay? That's upside down. It's not. It is. Oh, yeah. It's upside down, folks. Bear with him. Let's just turn it over. It's an easy mistake to make. Is it? No, you no, were right. It wasn't upside down. It wasn't upside down. No, I was going to say you were right the first time. Watch your fingers. Every time I listen to her. There you go. That's it. It locks in place. So basically, that's it at the moment. But we're working on it. Yeah, so I've opened it up, and then what happens? You just pull that up there, and it clicks. And to release it, you pull that back down. Like that, okay? Right. That's easy. Oh, I'll the other side. And, I'll the rubbish up before and I must out. say, it's bloody well made. There you, there you go. go. Perfect. Now apparently you've got two positions on this uh are you spraying? Animac. Animaca. Animaca. You've got two posi positions. You can have either have it to sit on it or to have it as a proper hammock. And to adjust it, you just pull those pins there. And then it clicks into place. Yeah, and then the same with that side. Wow. Wow, that is good. That is well, so, so far. Yeah, so there you go. You've got the whole, you can see now it is a hammock stand. So the next job is to get the hammock in the hammock stand. And the actual hammock comes in its own little bag. Now bear in mind folks, we have never done this before. 
We haven't watched any videos. We just we have just heard it's a great piece of kit. So we'll get this out. Oh, hang on. Is the bag attached to it? So it's, you don't lose it. Yeah. Yeah, the bag is attached to it. Very good idea. Okay, now we've just got to figure out how to get it on here. No problem. So there you go, folks. That is now set as a seat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. It's, uh... You adjust it on here. You just pull those and adjust it to however high you want the actual hammock. Man, that is fantastic. And it holds. I can't remember the actual weight offhand, but it's a massive amount. Yeah, apparently. Both of us can apparently sleep in it. Apparently, and both get on there, yeah. Wow, and look how well built it is. There you go. We haven't picked the best day to showcase it, have we? No. It's a bit windy, but... And then you've got your cup holders as well. Is that a cup holder? No, that's the bag it came in. Oh, right. Hang on, it's uh, just all that there and all that there. There you go, <laughs> gone. Oh. I mean, that is a great piece of kit. So I'm going to hire it now and see, uh, see if we can both get on it. Yeah? So we've got it on its highest point now. Bloody windy, isn't it? Typical. Now I'm going to attempt to get on this. What are you laughing at? So, it's can it. I tread on there? There you go. He's in. Ah. How comfy is it? We've never had a hammock, have we, before? Man, you're gonna you're gonna see me get out of it yet. But wow, this is this is coming everywhere of us, folks. Yeah, it so really is. It's like being in it. I can't see how two people could lie in it well, together. Well, I, I suppose if, if if they were slim, if you were a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, because I could go right up there, couldn't I? Up there. Yeah. Man, it's so good. You know, if it's a bit windy, I don't know why you need a cover, I just got that. Isn't that better, folks? Isn't that better? Wow, it's, it's amazing. Rock me. You don't even... Oh, shut up, Robert. Right, come on, then. let's get out. Get, get out of it now, then. I won't laugh. Okay, it's now, laugh it's, it's, quite e it's quite easy to get out. <laughs> I'll tell you something, though, on a serious note. It feels very, very safe. Very safe. Okay, so get, get your legs out over like that. Okay. Ah. Ah. Ta-da! We really haven't picked the best day, have we? No, but man, this is really good. I mean, look how substantial. Look at that. I'm, seriously, I'm really happy with this. It's amazing. Right, we'll get, try and get it set up properly. Now to adjust it, you just push the button there. No, you pull the button out, sorry. And then you raise it up or down. And then obviously it tightens, tightens the actual hammock up. On the same this side. Yeah. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. You've got seven holes to adjust it. Yeah, it's... Uh... And then you can use it as an actual seat. And as big as you are, you will never break it because it, this is capable of holding up to 39 stone, 550 oh, pounds. Seriously, I'm not just saying, it's so good. Yeah, you need to put it up behind your head so you can... What? Up? Get the material, put it behind your head. Okay. It's a bit low for me though, because it'll be bomb. All right, let me It's touching it. the frame. Is it? Yeah, because I'm, it needs to be up a bit more. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> You do it. I mean, even I can. No, 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 you sit on it. You're right here. I thought you wanted me to. No, it needs hiring. Am I on the. No, actually, I'm not. I mean. They have also sent us two cracking cup holders. One. Oh, okay, one. One cup holder. Okay. So this just fits onto there, onto the frame. And then you've got a rubber strap there. There you go, and then that just goes round like that. So when you're lying or sitting in the hammock, oh, there we 
go. Only a few linings. Come on, get your own legs up. Hello! <laughs> ah. It's good, isn't it? Wait, we can go on it. Come on, Ames, I want to have a go. Oh. Yeah, no, oh no, Jensen wants to have a go. I and didn't think it would be long before he spotted us. Come on then, out. Ow! Ow! Out, out! There you go, look, two kids. Well, what are the... There's a place up. Yeah, but because we've got the canopy, I don't think we're going to be able to put the canopy on it today. I'm going to try. Because this way, this way is so... No, good. everything's possible. How good is it? It's too comfortable. It's, you can sleep with this tonight then. We're going to have to continue this uh, film on that hammock because if we put the can canopy on there because it's so windy, we're, we're going to end up over there. Yeah, and we're also worried about it getting caught on the barbed wire, yeah. so... But I'm telling you folks, that is a fantastic piece of kit. Yeah, and on the next one we will uh, put this up, put the canopy on, put the mosquito net on. Yeah. Um, tell you how much it is and where you can get it from because it is awesome. Yeah. So I'll see you all later. <laughs> and I'm telling you all now, that is definitely stopping in our van because it's amazing. It's a light. It's coming to Europe. It's coming to Europe. How heavy is it? Um, I will tell you. And it's not hard because we all we did say we're going to have. Oh, look at this. Awesome. We did think it would be hard to get in and out of, but it's really, really not. Yeah. And that is perfect as a chair. Our bag is it though. It's not yours. It's mine. Unbelievable. So that's the mo that's the mozzy knit. So you can see how that goes on. So if you're in Scotland and you're using that, this will be perfect because of the midges. Uh oh. So that's stand weight. How much do you reckon? Weight. Yeah. I just know it's not very heavy, I don't know. 10.4 10 kilos, is it well, still saying? It's nothing there. No, absolutely. And the way it all falls down into that bag? It's made of aircraft grade aluminium alloy. How about that? It's cracking. It's and this is the actual... That's the canopy that goes over it. Yeah, have you got a picture in there? Just to show, uh oh, look what I've just done. <laughs> No, that's fine. I can do, no, only on here is the picture of the. Yeah. That's that's how it looks. Should look, and that's how it does look. Yeah, but we will get it out again next week. I love it. Can You'll come? be seeing a lot more, folks, of that on our videos. And me lying in it. So I was just reading about this amazing thing. Uh, apparently. Animaca was founded by Eric Lin and Raymond Lau in 2020. They were on a flight back from Hong Kong and they got talking about their love of hammocks but couldn't understand how outdated they all were and they came up with this amazing design. It's got an extra long 105 inch ridge line so it can support the entire body from head to toe providing comfort for people of different heights so it doesn't matter if you like Jensen size or somebody who's seven foot it's absolutely perfect so it takes outdoor comfort to an, to new heights with its integrated adjustable sunshade which we're going to try and put on next time when it's not so windy it's got UPF 50 plus protection ensuring cool and safe environment even on the sunniest of days it's available to buy and I will put the link in the description but I will put it on the next one as well where we can show this in all its glory because like we said it's just too windy to try and put the canopy on especially when we don't know what we're doing um, but yeah it starts from £259 so I'm going to put the link on uh, they say fast lightning setup within three seconds with snap fold design lounge mode and chair mode in one fits perfectly in any car trunk with a padded travel bag and it's like I said before it supports up to 550 pound which is over 39 stone yes folks it is fantastic it really is well come on out no no out no come on no. get out <laughs> my turn no. right folks you're going to take you a quick walk around the site no, oh, quick, you know, just to show you the basics yeah, of to show uh, you the entrance um, camping on the farm. Yeah, we didn't film it, did we? we? Didn't film the approach or no. anything. This is a very busy site because as vans are coming off, other vans are coming on. Yeah. So it is very popular. 
The non-electric side, which we're on, is a lot quieter. The electric side's over there. Yeah. And obviously that's a lot busier. Yes. So basically it's just like a, just like a big field. And then over there you've got your electric. Do you want me to carry the bin? You always say that when we're nearly at the bin, don't you? It does make a change though, doesn't it, to be honest? Huh? So as you come in, you've got your little reception, like a little shed there. You've got... Is that a phone box? Is that a real phone box? I know it's a real phone box, but is it actually a phone? If it is, it's unusual. Well, it is. Does it work? Hang on, I'm going to check. It doesn't work. Because you don't see a phone in an old phone box very often, do you? It doesn't work. Oh, doesn't it? No. Yeah, so you drive in from down there. Which is a bit of a steep drop, but it's easy to do. You know, it's tarmac, so that's fine. And then you've got your recycling on the left. You've got, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. What is it? What is that? I don't know, but you've got a sink there over tap. As I say, you're recycling there. More bins there. More recycling. You've got a pot wash there. Got the men's toilets. I'll just go in see if I can, anybody's in. We've got sinks and mirrors, hand wash, so we to hang your coats, paper towels, showers, adequate. Yeah, you've got plenty of room in there. So yeah, adequate. Yeah, so when you come down, you either drive to the right, which takes you into the non-electric, or you go straight on, which takes you into the electric. Basically, the, it's £25 a night non-electric and £30 a night with electric and then plus you've got your add-ons, your dogs, your children and etc. Yeah. And I'm not going to show it because it's got the people's names on there and for the people booking in today because they're obviously not at work today. Um, but there's somebody actually booked for 27 nights. 27, 27 nights? <laughs> Unbelievable. Fair, fair play to him. Yeah, it, it is very popular because of the obvious reasons, because you can walk into the town, like it's a 10 minute flat walk, as you've seen us do. So yeah, it's a great site, it really is. Overlooking the sea. What more could you want? You couldn't. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Yes, folks. Of our adventures in Aberairon, Aberairon. Yeah, because this is part two, obviously. Beautiful, love it, don't we? It's great to be by the seaside. Yes, yeah, so on that note, folks, we will say our farewells. The next time you see us, our little grandson would have gone. All gone. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it's been great to have him, but it's so nice when they go, isn't it? Yeah, you don't realise, I mean, just the one little one, the extra space they take up. Yes. And everywhere you want to go to, he's there. And you've got to have eyes in the back of your head, as you all know. Yeah. But uh, it's always a pleasure to have him. But, yeah, as we said, it's lovely to be back to normal. Yes, it is. So, on that note, we will say our farewells. You're in one of those moods again today, aren't you? I need to watch part three. It took us three nights so far to watch. The new Karate Kid film, it's not new, no, the one with Jaden Smith, but yeah, yeah. three because nights. We put it on, because we put it on late, and yeah. then like Jensen wants to watch it, and we're like, no, falling asleep. Yeah, like, uh, but you know, it is people when you've uh, got kids, bloody hard work. He knows all about that, doesn't he? Not. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, where were you when the children were our children were growing up? I'll tell you where I was, at work. Exactly. Earning money to yes. keep the family, so you, like most blokes. Yeah, well, you don't know how hard it is to bring them up. And you don't know how hard it is to go out and earn money. Why do I need to do that when I've got you? Exactly.
<laughs> so on that note, folks, we will say farewells. So stay safe for the cavern as most Romans tend to drift with scars on you, so love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. Hang on. In a bit. Got it. <laughs> and the rats fell off. <laughs>